This is ChatGPT by OpenAI, and we're going to be asking it some of the serious questions today like, what's the secret to life? And uh, it actually has a pretty good answer to that. Judging from this question here, I don't think ChatGPT watches my videos, knows who I am, or is even subbed to my channel, unlike you should be. But today, we're gonna get real close. It's gonna be controlling my life for the next 24 hours, telling me what I should eat, train, and do. Also, this will be a good test to see if you or I or anyone out there even needs to hire a personal trainer anymore, or if this thing can just make you a meal plan and make you a workout plan and you're good to go for zero dollars. That's what we're testing in today's video. Press that thumbs up button and let's go see what ChatGPT is making us for breakfast. All right, so ChatGPT. Um, if you've never played with it before, just go to the website, make a free account, and type in some random questions. I promise you will be impressed. But for me today in this video, I'm gonna see how good of a full day of eating it can make me. Um, and I'm gonna track the calories and everything like that so we can see kind of where we end up and see what it does for my workout as well. You can type in a lot of different things. If you don't like the answer, you can just redo it and it'll come up with a different answer. That's how AI works. It's nuts um let's just type in high protein breakfast around 500 calories okay so off the rip it says one option for high protein breakfasts around 500 calories could be two boiled eggs with with, with 140 calories 12 grams of protein spinach tomatoes um that's only 170 calories though and another option, egg white omelet, uh, diced vegetables, bell peppers, everything like that. So it's just, it knows like what breakfast foods are and it knows the calories of stuff, which is pretty cool. If you don't, if you ever don't like an answer, you can press this little like reset button and it'll just go again. Okay, so here we go. This did it right here. 500 calories, 19 grams of protein. That's not that much. But this literally just gave me a full meal right there. Let's try something else. Let's try breakfast with... 50 grams of protein. <laughs> okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. All right, check this out, this is awesome. Okay, so 50 grams of protein breakfast, four boiled eggs, three slices of turkey bacon, a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, some berries, 532 calories, 57 grams of protein. I'm gonna go pick this stuff up, cook it up in three, two, one. And here we go, uh, an entire meal all done by AI besides all the cooking, which was done by me. I actually bought the eggs in a bag. But all around, I mean, I typically have a meal very similar to this when I'm dieting. Um, it's a high protein meal, a lot of the same things that I eat every day. Gotta say, right off the rip, pretty impressed. All right, so as you saw, uh, I actually took some of the yolks out of the eggs. I just don't like that much yolk when I'm eating my boiled eggs. But all around, insanely, really ideal breakfast. Turkey bacon, click this in the air fryer, by the way. So much better than the air fryer. Mm. Boiled eggs is a boiled egg. I did put some salt and pepper on there, and I actually might put some sauce or something on there too, just to flavor it up a little bit, but the boiled egg. And then for dessert, the berries with the yogurt. I ended up using the Dan Light and Fit yogurt, and I think the macros are a little different than what it said on ChatGPT, and we're about to dive into that right now. All right, so on ChatGPT, with everything included, it says the total comes out to roughly 532 calories, 57 grams of protein. Um, now, I track this in a new app that I'm trying to use right now, Chronometer, um, because the whole MyFitnessPal no bars code can scanner thing. So this came out to 551 calories, 47 grams of protein. So in my opinion, very, very close. My goal was 50 grams of protein around 500 calories. They're both right there. So yeah, first meal down, it's definitely proving to be a pretty good source for meal planning. All right, meal one done, feeling pretty satisfied. I feel like I got a decent amount of protein in. I feel like it started me for a pretty solid rest of my day. All right, a little bit of time has passed. I'm getting kind of hungry for like a pre-workout snack. Let's see what GPT can offer up for me. All right, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. I'm just gonna type in pre-workout snack. All right, so it gives me a little description of what a pre-workout snack should consist of and then some examples. Um, almond butter with banana, Greek yogurt, honey, protein shake, scoop of protein. Um, I'm gonna do it again just to see if I can get a list. 
Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna do list of good pre-workout snacks. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's, it's still going. Oh, a list of 10? Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yep, have it 30 to 60 minutes before your workout. Give your body time to digest. This is what I love right here about ChatGPT. So it gave me a ton of different options. Um, energy bar with natural ingredients, whole wheat toast with peanut butter and honey, smoothie, hard boiled egg, which I already had that. Toast, peanut butter and honey, but I'm gonna use a rice cake because I don't have actual bread. Sounds like a nice little pre-workout snack to me. A few moments later. And courtesy of ChatGPT, here is my pre-workout snack. Mm. All right, and according to Chronometer, that added about 150 calories and like five grams of protein. But it's definitely right about the fast acting carbs and wanting to eat it at 30 to 60 minutes before you work out. It has a lot of like extra beneficial tips and knowledge that it just throws in with your food. Kind of nice. All right, pre-workout snack done. Now let's go ready to go to the gym. All right, gym fit for today is uh, TLF's actually new collection. This is part of their reps collection. These new shirts, let's check this out. Oh, they're mesh shirts, extremely, extremely comfortable. Check out the, like the stylized scoops too. So they came out with these uh, tank tops in the exact same material, but with a more subtle logo. More colors of these mesh shorts. Same thing, like super stretchy and comfortable. And some new joggers as well. Like I said, all part of the new reps collection from TLF. Check it out. Link down below, code TLF-SUGS. Thank you for using that. And I know I wear TLF in like every single video, but it's not because I'm filming a video. I actually wear it every single day to the gym. It's really just that good. So definitely check it out down below. Let's get some pre-workout in this. All right, just because I'm curious, let's type in sup supplements to build muscle see what comes up okay protein powder that is a good one creatine i take that every day nice beta alanine that's in my pre-workout uh, amino acids you don't really need that if you're getting enough protein in your diet weight gainers can definitely help you build muscle that is true yeah actually wow that's not a bad recommendation at all for like some good core supplements to have in your arsenal. One thing I think they left out though is caffeine. For me, it's essential in my pre-workout. And lucky for me, the Bulk Black has 275 milligrams of caffeine. So that will be plenty for today's workout, along with the beta alanine that I talked about earlier. So one scoop going in, let's get to the gym. All right, so we made it to the gym. I know I wanna train like a quad focus leg day, but let's see if they can set me up some sort of workout. Let's do quad focused leg day workout. All right, there we go. <clears throat> quad focused leg day workout. Barbell squats, three sets of 12. That's a lot. Um, leg press, three sets of 12. I normally do that. Lunges, three sets of 12. That's solid. Leg extensions. Leg curls is more hamstring focused, but I get where they're going and calf raises. It's actually a really good uh, all around leg workout. That's pretty solid. I'm gonna do it again just to see what it says, but I'm cool with that one. Boom. This is exactly what I wanted. So it does take a little bit of tweaking. You gotta know what to ask it, but this is it right here. Barbell squats, four sets of six to eight. That's perfect. Leg press, three sets of eight to 10, ideal. Bulgarian split squats, three sets, eight to 10, perfect. Hack squat, that, I don't normally do that, but that's actually a really good exercise. Leg extensions, calf raises, that is an absolutely perfect leg day. I'm gonna go nail this workout right now. All right, squats, feeling pretty good. Um, definitely the way I would recommend setting up a leg day as well, getting your compound lifts out early. All right. Now moving into leg press, going heavy. It says eight to 10 reps, three sets here. And to save a little bit of time, instead of doing calf raises later on in the workout, I'm gonna go ahead and superset them on this machine. For the sake of time, I'm gonna skip Bulgarian split squats today. But for hack squats, I wanna see if there's a different variation I can do. Okay, wow, so that's what I was looking for. It just gave me five different exercises to do if I don't wanna do hack squats and explain how to do them and what they were. That's pretty impressive if you're in a jam, something's taking you in the gym and you don't know what to do, you can always come here and figure it out. But for the day, I think I am gonna do the dumbbell lunges that it talked about as my substitute for hack squats. Three sets, lunges done. Last up, we have leg extensions. All right, three sets, 
leg extensions done. And that wraps up the workout, surprisingly. I don't know if you can see that, that, but that says exactly 60 minutes for the entire workout. And also the 12 to 15 reps that it said to do on there for three sets, I couldn't have said it better myself. That's the exact amount that I would want to do. All right, so workout done. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up with a little bit of cardio while I take two more supplements that it actually mentioned. Oh, the post-workout, not really. But it did mention creatine, and like I said, I take this every single day while I'm doing cardio, Stairmaster, walking, whatever it may be. This plus a little bit of Stairmaster will round out today's workout. Really, really good job from ChatGPT with this workout routine. All right, we're back, and I am gonna make a post-workout meal, but before that, I'm gonna have one of the other essential supplements that ChatGPT recommended, and that is protein. I'm gonna do two scoops of Transparent Labs peanut butter vanilla protein. If you've watched any of my videos, you know this is my absolute favorite flavor. Um, and by the way, all the supplements I talked about, you can get at Transparent Labs and use my code SUGS10. So you save a little bit of money off your order and help me out. Always appreciate that. Um, also, I put this in, uh, what's it called, chronometer? I hate that name, but I put it in there and we're sitting at roughly a thousand calories for the day. That's not too bad at all with about 110 grams of protein. So right about where I wanna be. All right, let's go ahead, do a new chat. And I'm just gonna put in five post-workout meals high in protein. And there we go. That's actually what I was more of looking for. The first one right there, grilled chicken with or fish with a side of quinoa or brown rice. Not only is it giving you five options, it's giving you options within the options. So I actually happen to have some quinoa and brown rice right here in a little packet. Plus, it's not chicken, but I did make some very lean pork tenderloins on the grill a couple nights ago. So I think this is gonna be my post-workout meal. And here is lunch or post-workout or whatever you wanna call it. Honestly, it's like a pretty solid meal. I don't have quinoa all that often, but I had one laying around, so I guess it works out. But looking at the calories and macros, 1600 calories, about almost 170 grams of protein. That's really solid. I'm gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce to this meal. Some sweet baby rays, no sugar added. And now with that, I think we have a very, very successful post-workout meal. Oh yeah, there's your bite, get that in there. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is very, very good. So yeah, when it comes to balanced meals, I think once again, chat GPT is doing a pretty good job, but we're not done yet. All right, some time has passed. Perry is now with us and we're ready for our chat GPT design dinner. All right, so I've opened up a new chat. I'm gonna ask it, hmm, do I say high protein dinner or just like healthy dinner? I'm gonna set it a calorie goal of around 500. I'm gonna say healthy dinner, that's diner, dinner around 500 calories. Grilled chicken breath, roasted vegetables, and a small side salad with a vinaigrette dressing. That's not bad. Um, that's a pretty good balanced meal. No carbs in there. Let's try this again. And a side of brown rice or quinoa. That's that's actually a solid one right there. Another option. Go ahead. All right, and I think it just got caught up. It's just been blinking here for like a full minute. So I'm going to go ahead and end it. Um, we'll try it one more time, but I like that meal a lot. Steamed vegetables, broccoli green beans with a side of brown rice. Grilled chicken breast, that's a very basic but solid meal choice for dinner. Grilled chicken breast again. Oh, there we go, now it finished this out. Another option would be mixed up. Whoa. So a salad with mixed greens, cherry. So yeah, it gives a lot of really good options. I think I'm just gonna go uh, chicken breast, brown rice, and vegetables. That sounds like a pretty solid balanced dinner to me. So I guess we're making exactly that. All right, chicken done. And I thought I'd just prepare some for the week, so that's a lot of chicken. <laughs> And here it is, our AI-generated dinner. And honestly, yeah, I would say that this is a pretty AI-generated because it's pretty basic and to the point. Um, it's chicken, vegetables, and rice. I know it said green beans or broccoli steamed. <sighs> I went to the store, got the chicken and the rice, and forgot to get broccoli or green beans. So we're stuck with some frozen mix of veg. But either way, same relative thing. I did spring for using my air fryer and I chunked the chicken up, dipping it in some sugar-free ketchup from G Hughes. Doesn't that just have a beautiful glisten to it? Hmm. I mean, what really can I say about this meal? This is not really anything that exciting, but it's a balanced, healthy, high-protein dinner. 
And speaking of healthy balance and high protein, wanna pop back into the macros, check out everything for the day. So very simply, I put in the vegetables, the rice, and the chicken breast. It did not say specific grams in this one, so I probably could have got that out of it if I would have asked, continued the conversation with it, but it worked out fine. I just filled my plate and tracked the numbers. And overall on the day, we ended up pretty freaking solid, right around 2,200 calories, well over 200 grams of protein, 232 grams, and um, a well-balanced all-around full day of eating, if you ask me. So final thoughts on ChatGPT. Can you use it instead of hiring a personal trainer or having to pay to get uh, workout programs or meal plans? Honestly, yeah, I feel like you could. The potential is there. You just gotta know how to ask the questions and to further the conversation. Um, if you don't understand a certain answer that it gives, just regenerate it. There may still be some work that needs to be done to iron things out, but overall, ChatGPT is damn near perfectly impressive. So I'm super curious of if you guys have ever used ChatGPT, if you're going to use it after watching this video and what you're gonna use it for. So make sure you leave your comments down below. Now for me, I think I'm gonna start using ChatGPT to help me come up with new workout routines or maybe even some new recipes here and there. And I would definitely be down to do this video again, press the repeat button, the regenerate button on this as well. So let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see that. But for this video for today, hope you guys enjoyed it. Press thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next.